Okay. Okay, here we go. It's a Zoomcast. Yeah. Zoomcast time. Um, which I, I know we said we were going to stop doing these because they would have to do with songs that people haven't heard because you kind of have to pay to hear us now. But these comments are more about the podcast itself, the pre-ELO podcast. And um, maybe it'll convince some of you out there to, hey, I'm really missing out. I should uh, go to patreon.com slash ELO pod and subscribe for only $1 an episode. That's $4 a month. $5 $5 on months where there's just five Saturdays in the month, but still. Sure. Um, I, I, I got a train whistle, which is too bad that it's too late for uh, last train to London or train of gold. <coughs> so I, I'll just dub those in later, I guess. And uh, I got to get Bob ready. He's still here, too. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a reunion episode of fishy about uh, that in there. It's like a reunion episode where everybody gets back together and then they uh, everybody's reminded why the show was canceled. So. Yep, yeah, because uh, at this point they get off the island and nothing interesting happens the rest of the show. So they have to go back to the island again and again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have to go back to the island or uh or dad has to have a drinking habit and uh everybody else has to have their family drama yeah instead of just the maid solving everything <laughs> maybe that's what we needed for the pot the zoom cast we needed to have a maid and a french that maid is out. true we do need to have a maid and a we french maid out. Alice. In, no no not alice i'm thinking more Daphne Moon, French maid outfit, fishnet stockings, that kind of thing. Well, I've tried to convince my wife that I should have a that I should have a babysitter. Don't I don't the kids, but I I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why she didn't agree to that because I think you probably do need a babysitter. Yeah, I probably do. And by the way, just before anybody asks, I suggested twenty five or over. <laughs> yeah, <that's fine. laughs> so we don't have a lot of comments we got three of them here so this won't take long and we got uh... oh. there you go <laughs> it still has a use i guess welcome back to the morning show here on wepj <laughs> There we go. Rob Eben. I wasn't sure if I would like the current path, but I am enjoying it so far. Interest, interesting stuff I wasn't aware of, and I appreciate the extended samples of each song. Well, they seem longer. Yeah. Um, that was one reason why I wanted to keep doing this. I know a few move songs. I know a few Idle Ray songs. I don't know them all. I knew nothing of Mike Sheridan. I knew they existed. I never heard anything from Mike Sheridan and the Knight Riders. We're just the plain old Knight Riders. And I had no idea the Chads even existed before we got into this. So I'm enjoying hearing the backstory to ELO and the bands that led up to the creation of ELO. It's, I, I think it's interesting to hear all these songs that uh, I didn't know existed. It definitely is, yeah. Um, and as for extended samples, they seem longer. Well, that's because they're so bad that they feel like they drag out. That's that's <laughs> not true at all. No, there's a, actually a lot of good songs. And yes, they are longer. And we use more song samples. Because now that people are paying for this, I feel like I need to give them more stuff. And also, there's no 15, 20 minute at the most time limit. So as part of the giving people more stuff the episodes are are longer too so these are some reasons why if you want to hear the goods and see why 
Well, it's actually kind of better than their ELO, the pre-ELO podcast. It's actually kind of better than the ELO podcast. Patreon.com slash ELO pod. One dollar per episode. Four dollars a month. Because you're missing out, man. Yeah. Definitely missing out. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, if you can afford a pack of a pack of ramen noodles, you can afford this. I know, and that's for every day or three times a day too. Uh, for for the cost of eating ramen all day long, you could get these ELO podcasts for all month. Right, so. and we know that you hoard that ramen and don't give any to your children. So yeah, you're already a terrible parent. Might yeah. as well spend it on something else. Exactly. Spend it on us. <laughs> Speaking about oh. stuff that somebody spends on us. Yeah. We've got another letter. From our we anonymous. A bonus episode payment, actually. Yes, from our anonymous donor. From our anonymous donor. And by the way, uh, um, well, I'll get into it here. I just want to get this read because Zoom, unfortunately, is not. Oh, there it goes. we got about seven minutes left. Us. Yeah. Uh, yep. Hey there. Happy relaunch pre-ELO. Here's a bonus episode, 504, from my side of the universe, just to thank you for your talents. Thank you for your money. Love, love, love your what comes, what came next. Very cool. Um, Just so you know, uh, no, I have not done a new podcast this last month. It was the 31 days of Halloween. I am, like I said, I am going to be making sure that for the next season of the podcast, I get everything done ahead of time. Um, But uh, yeah, you should be expecting a magical mystery tour coming up probably towards the end of this week, followed by plastic surgery disasters. And that's Eric Winsensen's, yeah. And that's Eric Winsensen's very own podcast, podcast, What Came Next, dot, dot, dot. Yep. So. As a side note, I always enjoy f- enjoyed follow-up hits to supposed one-hit wonders. Rupert Holmes, him, number six in the U.S., much better song than Escape. Aha's The Sun Always Shines on TV, number 20 in the U.S., much better song to take on me, which I will definitely agree. I love that song. Take on me is a great song, too, but The Sun Always Shines on TV, other than the beginning of that video ruining the video for Take On Me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, the song itself though is so much better There's so, oh by the way AHA is a nice group to check out for about 30 years worth of material there not just take on me yeah um, and then Big Country's Fields of Fire number 52 in the US to In a Big Country which that one I'll say they're equal mm. I love both those songs yeah in fact I think in the UK Fields of Fire came out first uh, etc anyway Really great to hear new stuff from both of you. Hopefully Santa can send a little something your way around Christmas. Till then, I'll hear you singing through the wire and the wine. Take care and keep creating anonymous listener Tom. I think it's Tom. <laughs> we'll say that. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh... yeah. By the way, thank you for the uh, Wichita Lyman re- re- reference there. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, hey, maybe I will believe in Santa Claus if it's going to get us another $100. There you go. That's another way you can, if you, you can also send us money to the P.O. box that's down there in the information. And include your email address when you send check or money order. And this way I can send you the secret link to the week's newest episode when they come out, which is what I do with Tom and, and you over there. And the people who actually work on the podcast. Yep. Okay. Morton S. Erickson. Well, we still got five minutes left. Good episodes so far, but I must admit that I am looking forward to when we get to Idol Race. Also, don't diss Kim Wilde, one of my faves besides ELO. I like Kim Wilde too. Just, uh, I don't know. The 87 version of uh, You Keep Me Hanging On kind of sounded like the other poppy kind of stuff at the time um it was i'm like, looking huh. they, they said i need a hit <laughs> okay yeah you haven't had a hit in five years yeah so record something um yeah i'm looking forward to the idol race in the move too 
I am enjoying hearing um, the Chads and the Mike Sheridan years with Rory Wood, which is what we're about to go through now. But I think things get really weird and creative and interesting when we hit the idle race and definitely the move. Yes. I am definitely looking forward to hearing more of that because the move that I'm more familiar with is when Jeff Lynn joined. And I definitely want to hear more of the Carl Wayne stuff because Flowers in the Rain is one of my favorite psychedelic era songs, period. Right. And so I'd love to hear a lot more of the move. Yeah, I've heard a smattering of pre Jeff move. Um, I know there's a song where Bev Bevan sings lead through the whole song. And it kind of reminds me of Weird Al's Truck Driving Man because. Bevan's voice is so <laughs> deep. Um, so there's a little teaser for you when we get to those songs. Yeah, and if anybody's wondering why I haven't heard much of the move, remember, I buy almost all my stuff on vinyl. And he's got original called, vinyl. And he's got a and, lot. Of, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the move is not the easiest band to find original copies of. Neither is the idol race. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Zoom is telling us that we only got like a minute or two left, so we better finish this up. So. Yep, give us cash. Yes, cash. <laughs> your patreon.com slash ELO pod. P.O. box down there to send us check or money order. and um, Star uh, or whatever it is. Bell. Oh, yes, yeah, subscribe. And subscribe. Bell. Uh, and tell your friends. Stuff like that because we may do more of this stuff. Share links and... And all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. Send send cassette tapes to each other. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that's a little bit too old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we're done here. I think we're done here.